um, record it so I can post it for other people. Um, if you go into D2L, um, it's very tab based. When I was first starting it, I didn't realize if I couldn't find something, I kind of panicked, but everything is under tabs for the most part. So if you go to content, content is where everything's gonna be. My view looks different than yours because it's the instructor view, but there's the student view, the learner view. Um, one really nice thing about it is when I give you assignments and I put them in and make a due date for them, it's gonna show up on this calendar. So the calendar is a good way to make sure that you're, you're doing what you need to do. Another way to, to do that is every time I post something for the week, I try to, um, like for this week, it has a little checklist that it goes through. It's kind of almost like a video game where you're like, oh, look, I've earned whatever because I've completed all the, the, um, the topics. But it's organized by, they call them modules, and the module is basically a folder. And in this thing is where I'm going to put, like, this is what we're doing this week. I used to have a lot of, like, I would do it under announcements. And I just kind of had it all over the place. So now I just keep it in one place. So if something changes, I can only go, I only need to go into one place to change it. If something big comes up, I'll put an announcement so that you guys can see what's going on. In um, Moodle, these announcements used to just get emailed to you automatically and that doesn't happen anymore. There is a way that you can get in here and you can get notifications when I post an announcement. It'll shoot you an email. Um, trying to think. I have videos that I've made for the chapters. They're kind of chunked. So they're, I don't, when I first started making videos a long time ago, YouTube had a limit of how long you could actually post. <laughs> And that's changed over the past year or so, or past whatever. So the videos, I feel like they're getting better as time goes on, but they are in smaller portions, just for ease of downloading them and trying to divide it into segments because my attention span is short with those kind of things. So I don't know if you're, if you are yours is or not. Um, so everything is organized by weeks because of the way everything is set up this semester. We do have a lecture D2L site and a lab D2L site. So the lab D2L site, um, usually I put them together, okay? But the lab D2L site, it's integrated with Connect, which is gonna be the virtual stuff that we're using this semester. Um, I tried to do it so you would only have one sign in. And I, I did this last semester with anatomy and it I I think it worked from my perspective because everything was in one place. You only have to remember one password. You get into D2L and after the initial sign up with Connect, then all you have to do is get into D2L, D2L and then you're logged into Connect. Um now I should share a a monitor or a camera so you, I can see your faces and you can see my faces. Um, go ahead. Do you, does anybody have any questions? Am I babbling? Is this stuff you already know? No, no. It's, uh, very helpful. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll just keep talking through it and and um, because I didn't really make a like a PowerPoint or anything for it. The thing is, this is the difference for me. I always have just, um, I usually put it all together. So I'm personally like thinking, oh, I have to remember that the lab is in its own section. Mrs. Josic is teaching um, some of the lab sections that I'm lecturing for this semester. Um, I just want you guys to know she and I have worked together since I've been at HCC. So like 20 years, we've 
we've collaborated and we continue to collaborate. So if there's anybody that um, we kind of think alike and do things very similar, pretty much the same. So, and we talk like all the, every, like every day. <laughs> so it, it's fine. It'll be a good experience. If anything, she, she's probably more, I don't know. I say she's nicer. She says I'm nicer, but she's um, very kind and very, very thorough. Um, so it'll, that'll, I'm not worried about that. That'll be fine. We've been doing this for a long, long time. Um, it'll, it's good. Um, let's see. So when you get into the week, what you're going to see, so go to the, um, go to the content, then under the content, it's going to show you folders and in those folders, basically what I have every week is I'm going to have learning objectives. So the learning objectives are, are your study guide. That's what I want you to know for the week. Um, then I have PowerPoint notes and then I have videos that go with the PowerPoint notes. Um, the textbook, the notes are taken from the textbook, but they're kind of thinned out. Everything that's in the book is not in the notes. So we kind of make it, we don't make you learn everything, but the, the kitchen sink. Um, or that didn't make any sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, chapter, chapter one. Okay. So for every chapter, we have a worksheet for the most part. Some of them, I don't have one, but it's just to make you read the book and try to look at important things and for me as a learner and as a teacher, I've learned that the more you write things down, the more it sticks in your head. So the worksheets, the idea behind them is to make you focus on the material a little bit. Um, the way I have it set up now is because of um, coronavirus, I initially didn't want to take any papers. <laughs> and now I know it's probably not transmitted through fomites, but I still don't want to take any papers. Um, the idea is that you can open up the file if you want to print it and you have a printer, you can print it and you can write in it if you want to, and then just you can scan it and send it back to me. So I make each one of these has, has the worksheet. It should be attached. Okay, so you can go to the worksheet. Um, just do it. Just do it, answer the questions. I'll go in and grade them. I usually kind of grade them for completion or if somebody, if people do silly things like they'll just put it into Google and they'll copy and paste the answers in. So you get a zero for that. Um, let's see, right. So if you either print it and fill it out by hand or you can type in it and save it and then you're going to put it in a folder here. So the folder, I tried to limit it so I would get one file so I didn't have to click through 10 pages. And it's actually easy. This is something I've learned since the pandemic started is that you can use a device like a phone or an iPad or something and you can actually scan with it now. So and I, I think I have, you just can go into the notes app and the notes app will allow you to take multiple pictures of a paper and then it'll convert it to a PDF and then you can upload that file there. So if you can't do that, you just email me and tell me that you're having problems and I can help you figure it out. But it's pretty slick. If you haven't done that before, it's actually amazing. Um, so they can go in there and then I'll grade those. And then I have a quiz for almost every chapter. And the quiz, it's just, just the way it's easy. They're not very hard. I started putting time limits on them because I did find that um, since everything is virtual right now, there's a lot of cheating. People are getting really, really fast at copying and pasting things in and putting the answers in. So I have Although this isn't a long time, this is two minutes of question. So yeah, I think people can copy and paste in like 20 seconds and find the answer. So 
this should probably be five minutes instead of 20 minutes, but it's okay. Um, when we take exams, I, I don't want you to cheat. <laughs> and that's really hard for me to control right now. Um, and it bugs me because I feel like you all are going into majority of you are going into healthcare and I feel like you should have um, a lot of integrity and I want you to know what you're doing when you get there. <laughs> so that being said, what we're using and what I used last semester is this proctoring software, which is called ProctorTrack. So for ProctorTrack, you're going to see this button and you're going to see a dashboard. Okay, the dashboard, I don't know if anybody's used it. Has anybody, have you guys used it? Yes, I used it last semester for uh, Dr. Landon's bio class. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Dr. Murphy used it too last semester. Okay, well, good. Then it's a little bit better than, and I've used it now too, so it's a little bit better than it was in the fall when I've, nobody had tried it yet. Um, and I, I don't know, right? There's all sorts of, I have kids that are students and I understand everything and I try to get it. Um, if you onboarded already where you had them scan your ID, you only have to do that once every 365 days. So, so you're, you're good if you did it for the fall, right? And as long as you didn't do it in January last year, and I don't think we had it yet, that you're, you're fine. You're not gonna need to onboard. Um, I want you to just go ahead and take the quiz so I know that you can do it. Um, the quiz is easy, it's just seven questions about Proctor Track. And if you used it, it makes sense. And if you didn't use it, you're gonna find the answers and it'll help you. They're, they're, the questions are really, really easy. Um, the Proctor Track, the student manual and the student directions, the link is here if you haven't used it. So you're just gonna go in and follow it. You go to the dashboard and you, and you onboard and what they're gonna do every time is they're gonna take your, um, you're gonna scan an ID with your picture or yeah, a picture ID with your video, they're gonna make sure that it's you and then they're gonna record while you take the test. Um, the idea is that you know it's you taking the test and that you're not Googling on the device that you're taking the test on. In theory, we're supposed to, I mean, all sorts of things get flagged that I can see. I don't sit and watch you take the test Okay, if, it, if Proctor Track flags something, I'll go in and look at it and say, oh, look, there, like one woman last semester, she took the exam <laughs> in her kid's room and there was a picture, a monkey on the wall. So it was tracking, it th recognized the monkey face as a, another person being in the room. So a lot of the stuff that you get flagged for is goofy. So the idea is just to eliminate the blatant cheating. Um, so I will be using it. Um, I know. What, do you guys have any questions? No? Everybody's quiet. With the proctor track tracking, if I do have a child that happens to run into my room or anything, will that be a problem? It'll be fine. If they okay. if they go I have in very little ones. Yeah, if, if they come in and it's it's fine. <laughs> just just don't write answers on their forehead. <laughs> yeah, don't write answers on their forehead. <laughs> don't give them the I right. That's yeah, don't give them the flashcard or big signs to hold up that say, you know. Right. Well, just I usually don't... wait till they're in bed, but I have toddlers that like to wake up and try to crawl into yeah. bed or into my lap. So yeah, I get it. And like yeah. people have animals and there's a lot going on. I feel it's hard to do it all and be at home. 
I feel bad for you guys because I feel like if we were face to face, you would have time that was carved out to be in the classroom. And now if you're home and you're working, people are, fill, or there's no, it's harder to define when you're gonna do school because you're home and that space gets filled in either with like people schedule you at work for more time or at the times where you might have been normally in class or kids are there. It, it's it's hard right now and I I try to be fair so and reasonable. And I, I want you to succeed. I don't want to fail you, right? So my goal is to get you through this so you can move on. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. <clears throat> are, are we on track for um, getting to the face-to-face -face labs after <laughs> February? Or do you have any idea? I um, I haven't looked, I'm, I have like, I haven't looked today to see what the um, COVID numbers are. As far as I know, when I looked on Friday, our, the county's numbers are going down. So we're on track. The administration, administer, administrators want us back on campus. So mm -hmm. um, the goal is to be back. Yep. And I kind of push. Means... Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, hopefully that means my older kids will start going to school soon too. Yeah, yeah, they, they want to. Been in since March. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's kind of crazy, right? Um, and what's crazy is this is micro. So for how many years I've been saying we're due for a pandemic. We're due for a pandemic. I never anticipated that this would be what a pandemic was like, right? Um. Well, it could so, have been worse. Oh yeah, it could have been a lot worse, right? It could have been way, way worse. It could be, it could have a very high mortality rate, very, right? It could be very right. worse, <laughs> right? Um, it could be way worse, definitely. Um, Someone in the chat was asking if the quizzes are proctored. No, the quizzes aren't proctored. Quizzes aren't proctored, just the high stakes, just the big tests. And I think the last test I give you, we cover a lot of systems, a lot of diseases of sy systems pretty intensely. And that one, I actually, it's, it's time, but it's open book. Yeah, a lot of the lab stuff that we're gonna do, you're gonna use other resources to take the test. So those will be open book too. So mainly lecture exams are proctored, not quizzes. Um, I know, what do I, I'm trying to think what else you guys, what else you need to know. So proctor track, we'll get, we'll cross that bridge. It'll be fine. You guys, it, it was, it was fine last semester. If you don't want to use a webcam at your house or wherever you are, you don't have a webcam or you don't have good internet or you're like, you're, there's all sorts of different things that come up. You can go to the testing center and take the test. You just have to let me know. So I let them know and they will um, set you up to, well, they give us a link for you to sign up for an appointment with them. There's just limited seating in there, but it's, you can take it there. Another thing that I found is the LSC, the Learning Support Center, they have little study rooms and they have laptops with webcams. So you can go in there if you need a quiet space to take it, you can go in there and check out a laptop if you don't have one and um, take the test there. And that works fine too. Sometimes like when I, I went back to, I'm just thinking about you guys with kids. I went back to school when my kids were, when I had kids and it was easier for me if I could go someplace where they weren't. And sometimes I just needed an excuse. I have to go use this computer. Um, what I questions? Like, yes. Um, 
is there a way to clean out last semester's stuff? Because like right now on your screen, it says course schedule and there's a red one and it says it's overdue quiz. Oh, Dude, yeah. That that I used this last semester to know what I have to do okay. this week. And when you have something like that, you have to go to it and say, OK, that's that's last semester. That's not burning your bridge down right now. So I don't know how you clean that out on your side. <laughs> I know I can try. Okay. That's probably why I don't have it cleaned out. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I think if you go down to like your other weeks, like week nine, further is there down, stuff in there too? There's stuff from you know do well. That's oh yeah, March twenty. No, that's right. Which one? That's right. I don't know. I I I was just suggesting. I, it looks like some of that's cleaned out, but um, sometimes I find there's past due stuff that yeah. it's from like a year or two years ago. I ran yeah. into it last year. I mean, last semester in my classes as well. It's uh, frustrating. It's, I will look, I will, um, yeah, I'll try know, to clean it up. I understand there's a lot of cut and paste and you're using the same thing again, but it's just to update the date or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the right. other side of it. And sometimes the th it's weird because sometimes you import the files and it might be, yeah, it's weird. D2L is weird. Like it might not okay. be the same thing, even like you might not be using it, right. but it shows up. So let me okay. try to. Um, yeah, I can even click on that red button. Well, yeah, so. That but that's, you know, like you yes. said, the, the calendar and the content is a great way to check check off things like. Um, yes. The learning objectives has got a, a dot instead of the check so that means you have to do something with it I, I, yeah. I got used to that really quick last semester it worked great so it uh, it's pretty that part of this of d2l is pretty slick in it it's kind of cool and yeah. this in the beginning i was making a checklist and you checked it off but then i learned that it actually automatically does this mm -hmm. now, there'll be some things for some reason like i have some discussion forms and they're going to pop up <laughs> that it wouldn't let it check you it wouldn't and i it wouldn't let you complete it and I could mm -hmm. never figure out how to fix that. Mm -hmm. So maybe I don't know, we'll see if it's still there. I, I think you have to click on every discussion point and open every box. If I think that's the way it works. Okay. Yeah, I'll take care of that. And when you see him, just let me know. Okay. I don't mind somebody shoot me an email saying. And I, I appreciate it because if it's there, I probably haven't seen it or I got interrupted when I was working on it and I forgot to finish it. I understand completely. <laughs> That's the thing with emails to you guys. I try to reply to your email no matter what. And if I haven't replied, I probably got interrupted in the middle of it and didn't finish it. So if you, you don't hear back from me, like, I don't know, in a day or something, shoot me an email, shoot me another one or say, hey, you didn't reply to this and I won't be offended. Um, another thing that I posted and people use this in anatomy last and micro last semester, which usually people don't use these, was the, were these um, help forms. Because it shows you when somebody posts something People like somebody already posted that she's she's looking for. Oh, there's her phone number too. Whoops, I just made a video of her phone number. Um, but if you, have a, if you have a question, bless you. If you have a question, you can post it there, and and other people can answer, and I'll see it too. So I check that every day, maybe more than once a day. So and if somebody posts sends me an email with a question that they don't know the answer to i try to send an email or an announcement saying this is what's going on i hope that we'll be back i actually kind of kind of drew it out to february 8th they didn't give us a solid day when they thought we would be back on campus because they're just looking at the coronavirus numbers and they said at a meeting last week that they're looking for us to be below 10%. And I guess they have, um, when we were on campus and everything was below 10% positivity in the community, 
we didn't have a lot of COVID on campus. And now that um, the numbers are higher, the numbers of, which it makes sense, right? The um, numbers on campus got high, higher, and, and were harder to control. So they're shooting for 10%, but what other, do you guys have any other questions? I didn't really walk through everything. Um, let's see, so here's, oh shoot, what did I do? As far as um, lab goes, right now, right, we're starting off, it's all virtual. So it's, we're using Connect, the virtual labs to sign up for them, what you're gonna do is just go to Connect Virtual Labs. And then um, if you, if you <laughs> the registration instructions are here. If you per can purchase directly from Connect, it's $50. If you use um, student, if you're using financial aid, I think you have to use your financial aid through the bookstore and there's a, they add money onto it at the bookstore, but that's how you do it, right? So it's, you just go to the bookstore and you'll get the access code and then you'll enter the access code in here. If money is issued right now, um, Connect has a free two week trial and that integrates right into your account when you get it paid for. I know that there's a, um, the Dean sent out a thing where they applied for more um, financial assistance for students because of the pandemic. So that's something to look for, that there's there's money out there to help with those kind of things. And McGraw Hill is pretty good. I needed I had a student that didn't was having problems affording her books and they gave me a code. So I don't like to ask them for that all the time, but if we're in a bad situation there, I've used them for 20 years and have a relationship with them. So I think that they'll, they'll help us out if we need help. Um, okay, so for the labs, they're pretty, I don't have, oh, this is ugly. When you look at the labs, it's ugly. So I'll, why does that look like that? One, two, three, where's, four? <laughs> oh no. All right, Craig, this is a good thing. Look, it's all messed up. You can't see all the weeks. All right, so I'm gonna, I have to, right. look. that's odd. Oh, I know why, because I, but no, that doesn't make any sense. I thought I had it all set up and ready to go. All right, it'll be set up by the end of the week. I think I was waiting to see I knew what this would be online. So I think um, Maria and I were kind of waiting to see whether we were gonna be able to go face to face by here or not. When we were doing this, the positivity rate was really high. So I wasn't super optimistic. Um, what do you guys think? What questions do you have? <laughs> um, I, I set up a meeting time on Wednesday afternoons because labs are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I set them up on Wednesdays so that if you had content questions, we could meet. I don't know if that's the best time or if there's, if I need to try to come up with a better plan for that. Um, Would those be optional? Yeah, it's optional. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All of the synchronous stuff with this class is optional and I try to record it. Sometimes if nobody's there, it's not useful to record it <laughs> or if things go off wonky. It, it, people have questions about different things. I don't share the recording. Um, okay. Dr. Yeah. Go ahead. Dr. Blank. If, yeah. if you go to microbiology and content 
or, or course home, excuse me. Yeah, for lab. Yes, and it says course home. No, for the microbiology. Hold on. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm losing my connection. Oh, uh -oh. that's not good. No, it's okay. It, yeah, it says my internet connection's unstable. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Mm -hmm. So, so microbiology course course home. Yeah. It says seventeen quizzes not attempted. Yeah. That was, that's the thing where it's, you know it, that's alarming and until you okay. realize that some of it's you know December sixteenth, twenty twenty. Um, let's see, it's another October eleventh, twenty twenty. There's a few in there like that. So. Yeah. Right. And the tests that I don't have assigned yet. I th let me try to figure out how to hide them. Okay. So they don't show up there. Uh, that that's great. Yeah, I don't, and, and I'm not. You're aware of it. Yeah, I saw that 17 quizzes, and I just thought it was everything that was um, for this semester. Okay, I'll try to hide it. Sometimes in D2L hiding things doesn't hide it. Okay. What else? You guys are quiet, which is fine. <laughs> I know. Do you want, you probably don't want to meet tomorrow. Do you want to meet tomorrow? Does anybody have any content? Anybody have any other questions? I think I have a Zoom set up for it. Um, I'm just working on, on our weekly stuff. It's yeah, very interesting. That's, yeah, it's kind of, it's cool. Micro is awesome, actually. It's one of my favorite, I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. right? I started doing it a long, long time ago. And I taught anatomy for a while. And then when they're like, well, can you do micro again? I'm like, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> It's just so cool because it, everything it influences like everything in the world, right? It's it, it's pretty cool, and epidemiology is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, just all of it is really neat to me. I, I'm totally nerd out on it. That's good. <laughs> it's like ah. Uh, Dr. Dove. Yeah. Um, you, I heard you say something earlier about um, having you for lecture and having um, Josic for lab. Yeah. No, you said you guys run things pretty much the same. So like, do they run um, together or is it going to be like, am I going to be doing something different in lecture than I will be doing in lab one week or do you guys kind of keep it like together? Um, this class is different. So it's different than anatomy um we try like some of the skills it's more skill space where you guys are doing hands-on things so okay. sometimes i mean they they go together but they're not totally complementary like maybe anatomy where in anatomy you're learning cardiovascular for two weeks and then you're doing you're dissecting a heart and then doing blood or whatever it's not okay. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's a different kind of class. So you're going to be doing the skills and doing things and putting it all together, but it's not, it doesn't line up one-to-one -one like okay. other classes, like anatomy. It's totally different from anatomy. Okay. Thank you're not, you. Yeah, you're not memorizing parts. Um, it's just, it's totally, totally different. And some people love it and some people freak out because it's not like anatomy. Um, I like, it's more hands-on thinking, trying things out, using the microscope, looking at bacteria, categorizing the organisms. Um, it's, it's totally different than anatomy. So in a way, maybe you can take a deep breath because it's not memorizing parts at all. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, it's not memorizing parts. There are times when I'll say, okay, you've got to memorize this. 
I know you can do it because you made it through anatomy and you're here, but um, for the most part, it's not, it's totally, totally different than anatomy. And if anybody had me for anatomy, I don't run this class like anatomy. <laughs> it's, I feel like I, it's, it's just totally different. With anatomy, there's so much to cover and we go so fast. Um, and this is different. This is more getting you to think and putting it all together. And another, I mean, and really everybody that's in this class, you've, everybody's had science, some science, has had eight credits of science. So it's, it's different. It's not, it's just not the same, which is kind of crazy, right? That it can be, like last semester I had a person that had me in for anatomy in this class at the same time. And she's like, yeah, it's not the same. I'm like, nope, <laughs> it's not the same. Um, yeah, we're just, we're gonna have to be flexible to get back on campus. I hopefully we can get back February 8th. The number numbers are going down. So I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's hard to know what the right choices to make. Um, if you're worried about it, if you had class last semester on campus, I don't know if y'all did or not, but we, we have the labs socially distanced. And if you're, <laughs> it might be the safest place around because all the time in microbiology, routinely what we do is we come in, you wash your hands, you bleach your space. Um, that's the routine no, in normal times. So um, every, we have the labs like 10, 11, we can be spaced out really well and everybody wears their mask if you don't, if people don't have their mask on right, I ask them to either fix it or leave. Um, and then we do the same thing when we when we leave, right? You're gonna wash your um, bleach your bench and wash your hands. We've been we um, have alcohol swabs for all the microscopes and all the other stuff. Kind of had a routine of how to clean it up after class. Um, if you're sick, stay home. Don't, don't even try. <laughs> it's not worth it. Um, we'll come up with a plan. We'll work around it. Right now, I have a 12-week late start class, and there's still a couple seats in there, so I could, I think I'm going to have a little bit of wiggle room that I didn't have last semester as far as if you, somebody misses to get him into the space into lab um, I don't know what do you guys think I know you it's the first day first couple hours so once you get in and get going and you have questions you're just gonna email me I, it works well if we just talk and communicate so you email me, I'll email you back. If you still don't understand, you email me again or, or say, can we talk? And we'll, we'll come up with a plan, right? I know, I want you to feel like it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I like, I mean, the reason I do this is because I like teaching and I like science and I, I want you to get ex excited about it as I am. So I'm not gonna, you know, it's a good thing. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What time is it? Do you guys have any other questions? No, not this time. <laughs> okay. All right. I know. I guess I should put a camera on here or I could just open up my, I got a big monitor now and it doesn't have a camera. All right. I hope if you have questions, don't be afraid to reach out and use this question and answer thing too, if you think you can't, if you don't hear from me right away. All There's right. always somebody on. Okay. Um, 
I do have one more question. Now there will be a um, Zoom every Wednesday for question and answers as well, right? That was my idea, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, once it gets going, I'm getting lab from 10 to 11 and then one to two. So I was, and I'm thinking if you guys are in lab, you can't Zoom, <laughs> right? If you're in transit from school to wherever you're going, you can't Zoom. So I set them up on Wednesdays. If that time doesn't work, we can come up. I can put a survey up and we can try to find a better time. Um, it's hard to find a time that works for everybody and, and works with like when I'm in lab, I don't know. Once it gets, once we get going face to face, I'm, all, I'm in lab more. So the times are not as my wi window of time to set up Zooms is, is more narrow. Although we could always try to do it in the evening. What do you think? Evenings would be harder for me. What? Evenings are harder? Evenings would be harder for me. Yeah. yeah I have see, all that's... my kids home in the evening. Yeah, right. And then like some people, they work at night. Some people work at, during the day. It's hard to know know when the best time is. But I so I just set it up for Wednesdays at one, thinking we could start there. And if I need to do it at a different time, we can do it at a different time. Ultimately, I can be on at almost any point. I just might have little guests with me. That's fine. We've all I've been there. I, I get it. Sometimes I think my mom went back to school. I don't know if I told you guys. I told somebody in the introduction. My mom went back to school when I, I have three sisters and I, I'm the oldest. And my mom went back to school when I was like in seventh or eighth grade. And me and I learned <laughs> that it, we learned to just, we're just going to school <laughs> when we don't have anything to get going on from being there when she was trying to do it with us. So, you know, everybody comes out of it with something different. I think they learn when they see you doing it. That might have been me. I haven't looked at my responses yet, but I have four kids. That's okay. That's good. <laughs> You're exactly where you're meant to be. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Wish I started earlier, but that's okay. No, it's you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Right? Everybody has a different path, and we're not. We don't all yes. follow the same one. That's what makes it cool. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. You okay, too. Bye, Thank guys. You. Yep.